Hi, it's Chris Crocker here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center on Tuesday evening. It's been a pretty quiet day. We've got a pretty quiet day tomorrow. My suggestion is bang out some errands, post office, mall. You got to get something for Christmas on the other side of town. Do it tomorrow uh, because we're going to get some snow and it's not really gonna go anywhere. And then we're gonna get a lot more snow and I feel like it's gonna be a little, at least some degree of travel hassle starting Thursday morning. Here's four things to know about your weather. And it is gonna be a chilly Wednesday tomorrow. High temperature of only 32 degrees. Snow comes in Wednesday night. One to two inches possible. This is gonna be light fluffy champagne powdery snow uh, broom it off the front porch type of snow um, but it is going to come in time for the morning commute on Thursday and it is not going to melt and then we have a bigger storm on Saturday and I talked yesterday about moderate accumulations and now it's looking like maybe moderate to heavy snow accumulations but uh, the heavier snow will be over the upslope no locations in Northeast Washington and North Idaho. Um, still dialing in on uh, the accumulations in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Uh, the tricky part is the temperature as usual. Uh, here's a look at our forecast, a little dip in the jet, uh, little upper level trough scooting over uh, Northeast Washington and North Idaho this evening with a few snow showers. Those come to an end, a nice quiet Wednesday until we get into Wednesday night. Uh, this is 11 o'clock Wednesday night. And uh, that is when that light snow will start developing around the region and stick around off and on through the day on Thursday. Um, behind it, we get another break for Friday. Um, and then you can see that northerly flow. We're gonna keep things cold for Friday, refrigerating that snow. It's not gonna be going anywhere. Now here's a closer view on the timing on the snow tomorrow. I'm starting this off Wednesday at five o'clock. And then right around 10, we start to see that snow into Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. And again, it is light. And then that will continue through the morning commute in North Idaho. Here's noon on Thursday with most of the snow south of I-90. And then, um, not, we're, no, we're not gonna write it off completely. There's Thursday at five o'clock uh, with snow top to bottom in North Idaho, just a few snow showers in the Northeast Mountains. Uh, again, dry on Friday and then Saturday comes around. Here's our lows tonight. Teens, 20s. It's going to be chilly to start the day tomorrow. Our high temperatures tomorrow uh, will be right around freezing around Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, 30 in Moscow and Pullman and Sandpoint, 31 in Bonners Ferry and only in the 20s in Colville and Kalispell. Your seven day forecast, uh, snow showers on Thursday, dry and foggy on Friday. Saturday will be our only day above freezing. And that's the day where the big snow is coming in. I don't think that's going to be warm enough enough um, for a transfer from snow to rain uh, maybe like some wet snow that doesn't you know stick in some spots but only for part of the time um, I think the bottom line is it is gonna be a bit of a mess on Saturday and then whatever snow we're left with at the end of the day is gonna stick with us through a uh, cold next week 29 degrees on Tuesday that is the first day of winter and of course that is Christmas week and everything indicates that we are going to continue to have below average temperatures through Christmas Day I think a white Christmas is practically in the bag at this point. I've been fairly confident about White Christmas for a while now, and uh, yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Um, that's it for me for now. Uh, join me back here tomorrow, and we'll have everything dialed in just that much more clearly in terms of the first two rounds of snow. And then we get a little bit of a cold break, and we can enjoy that snow. Sled and get things uh, all ready to go skiing and all that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you back here tomorrow.